Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm here with Dave, one of our good friends here at Carter Pulse, and he is going to be explaining more information about physical and mental health in esports. All right, Dave. So what do you think, in your professional opinion, is the most common complaint from esport players and just people in general that are sitting down a lot and just gaming and even for people at home that are working from home and uh, complaints they might have from all this time sitting down, something we might not be not be used to right now. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, different diagnoses that I, I do see in just regards to people sitting a lot, you know, like you just mentioned, working from home, gaming, um, a lot of things such as eye fatigue, um, neck pain, back pain, hand pain, wrist pain, elbow pain, pretty much the whole upper extremity arm. Um, there was actually a study published in 2019 in the American Physical Therapy Association magazine. It was sent out to 65 collegiate esports players all around the United States and Canada. It showed that, you know, gamers are practicing on average three to 10 hours a day. So that's a lot of sitting. And the most common complaints were eye fatigue, 56% of people um, experience that, 42% experience back and neck pain, 36% experience wrist pain, and then 32% experience hand pain. And that's, you know, that's a lot of different diagnoses, but the, the, the unfortunate thing is only 2% of the, the respondents sought medical attention. So that's, that's a big problem. All right. So going off that first topic, let's jump into the first two topics that you mentioned. You mentioned eye fatigue and neck and back pain. So why don't you dive in and break those down a little and, and just explain a little bit more about that and what people can do to prevent that pain. Right, so eye fatigue is clearly a big one, especially you're staring at a screen uh, for many, many hours on a day. Um, there's a simple uh, tip that you can do to prevent that. It's called the 20-20-20 rule. Uh, a lot of optometrists promote this. All it is is for every 20 minutes, you look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Uh, that can help reduce eye fatigue. And you know, from eye fatigue, you can also get headaches, which can be very debil debilitating as well. And going a little bit deeper into neck and back pain, we all know how if we're sitting too long, our backs stiffen up. I mean, even if I'm sitting for you know an hour, two hours just watching TV, I get up and the back's feeling a little stiff. A big thing that I see among people who work from home and people who play video games, it's called forward head posture. Um, you can look it up, but essentially it's when we're jutting our necks out like this, kind of staring at a screen. What that entails is, um, you know, the upper cervical spine your, where your neck is an extension and the lower cervical spine or neck is in flexion. That can cause a lot of different issues such as muscle strains, muscle imbalances. You know, muscles need to have a proper length tension relationship in order to uh, um, work optimally. And it can also lead to various nerve compression and a condition that we call cervicogenic headaches, which with that uh, sustained posturing can bring on those headaches. So it's really important to address these issues before they occur. All right, so you mentioned preventing. What are tips that people can do now to actively start preventing these things from happening and just overall having a healthier future and just feel better about themselves sitting down gaming and stuff like that? And you just elaborate more on that and how, how people can prevent these, these type of things from happening and for future tips. Yeah, so like you said, prevention is is number one. It's a lot easier to address a problem before it happens. Granted, you can fix a problem after it happens, but nobody likes to spend time and rehabilitate, go to physical therapy. I've, I mean, being a physical therapist and being someone who has gone through PT, it's always better to address the problem before it occurs. So what you can do, number one is move. Our bodies are meant to move. In movement, we need blood flow to various muscles, joints, uh, even your nerves need blood flow. Um, in all of our joints, you know, shoulders, knees, er, er, throughout the spine, everything, we have a uh, synovial fluid in our bodies and that uh, lubricates and nourishes all your joints, gets it feeling good. The only way that uh, fluid uh, circulates through your body though is with movement. So I would recommend, um, you know, at least after every match or anything like that, at least once an hour. Um, I know I'm asking a lot, but just get up, you know, do a few squats, walk around the house or something, maybe, maybe get a glass of water things like that. Um, and then you can also you can also do some basic stretching, um, j just gentle uh, range of motion exercises, just looking up, looking down, looking side to side. Um, again, just just movement is is number one. 
And then I would also say looking, um, really take a look into your gaming chair and your setup uh, um, for, for how you're gaming. Because like I said, I reference people are uh, gaming anywhere from three to 10 hours a day, some more, some less. So if you're sitting for that period of time, you really need a quality gaming chair. All right, Dave, so you mentioned gaming chairs. In, in your professional opinion, what would you recommend as far as uh, getting a gaming chair, where to get it from, uh, what are the key things we should be looking for as gamers for comfort and to help our, our skill level? Yeah, so that's a really good question. Um, I would definitely recommend doing your full research uh, before you purchase a gaming chair. Gaming chairs can be expensive, so you really want to get something you know bang for your buck. Uh, there are definitely different, a lot of magazines that you can go and do your research or, or go online um, before you just run out to Walmart or something like that and grab a chair. So a lot of different retailers sell them. However, I would recommend doing your research. And the key thing that you're looking for is one, you want some kind of lumbar, aka low back support. Also something with a headrest that you can support your neck on to avoid that forward head posture like I mentioned. And um, a thing that was drilled into my head in, in grad school is the more um, adjustable features a chair has, it's it, the, the better ergonomically it's gonna be for you. So you want something with adjustable armrests, adjustable seat height, uh, a reclining feature, because uh, studies show that just a 10% 10 reclining feature takes off a lot of pressure on your low back and spine. Um, and just the more adjustable features, the better. And you want something that you're not sitting too far back in the chair, because then you're going to be slouching, you know, putting pressure on your sciatic nerve, which can cause, you know, uh, numbness and pain down the legs. So just the more adjustable features, the better. So going off that, Dave, what do you uh, suggest as far as workouts? Can you provide anything like that? Yeah. So on my uh, Twitter account at joystick underscore PT is a free home exercise program uh, that you can anyone can do five to 10 minutes a day, um, which it really isn't that much. Um, it's just a few stretches, range of motion exercises that can really help, again, prevent these issues. Um, I've already sent it to a few a few gamers that I've encountered and they've had really positive results as far as reducing neck pain, headaches, things like that. So um, again, at joystick underscore PT, it's free and um, it, it, it can really help. Yeah, like you said, we'll have everything linked below in the description. Uh, be sure to check out Dave on all of his socials. Like I said, we'll have that linked. I'll have the workout linked as well. Um, yeah, we, we here at Carter Pulse, we really believe that this is the future of esports and everything about it. So we really think everything like this should be taken serious and to the highest level. And this is the start of that. So we feel with these tips that this is the, the right direction and this is a good way to go. So uh, as mentioned before, check out Dave and check out everything he's got going on. He's a good friend of ours. So we really appreciate him coming on. And uh, thanks again, Dave. Hey, welcome, Jack. Take care. Always give uh, always give a shout out to Carter Pulse. Love those guys.